Hey guys, you're back again with the Vape Invader. And today for review, we have the Dove Po Topside, a collaboration between TVC and uh, Dove Po. And we also have another box. Funny story, when I picked this up for the purpose of the review, I bought this and it came with no bottles because it turns out I bought a different edition that the bottles came separate and I didn't pick them up, so I had to go back and get them. <clears throat> so, but that's fine. Um, so this set, it'll either come with two bottles or the standard edition. So, anyway, let's uh, have a little look around. All parts of contacted e-liquid are made from good grade stainless steel and silicone. Input voltage range 3.2 volts to 4.2 volts. Output range 1 volt to 8.5 volts. Resistance range 0 0.8 to a 3.5. Working mode variable wattage, bypass temperature control. Optional, see the manual. It does from 5 watts up to 90 watts. And there is an LED just short of an inch display. And there's a gold plated spring loaded 510 and silicon bottle with a 10 mil capacity. Yeah, that's right, guys. 10 mil capacity. 10 milliliters. That's just, it's basically a full small bottle. So, once we get into that, guys, you've got this lovely plastic box, which, as you can see, has holes in it. Well, these holes serve as a dual purpose so that you can use it as an atty stand. He's, he's thought of everything with this one, guys. It really has. So, when we open it up, you do have a user manual. You have a certificate of authenticity that it's been checked and approved. It has been stamped. And there was a thank you, a little thank you note, which was missing out of mine. I think I've dropped it somewhere. But I do know it does come with one. Um... So our box guys, it feels really good. We do have a lovely bright blue Dovepo charging cable. We do have a Allen key and two spare screws. I'll show you what they're for in a second. So yeah, the, un the unboxing experience is really good guys. I mean, the unboxing, the free out stand, keep your little bits and bats in this box. It's all been thought of. It, it, you're not throwing nothing away. As you can see. Any juice you see, guys, it has because I have been using it. I've been doing a bit of testing on it. And I am going to put the recurve blacked out on the top of this one. The juice I've got in here is the Queen Wendy Vapes Royal Muffin. Really good, guys. There'll be a link in the description if you want to go and pick some of this up. There is 20% off using Queen 20. Check it out down in the description if you want to go buy some. There will be a link, obviously, for the device as well on the recurve. So, yeah, guys, it's really, really nice button. I really do like it, as you can see. It, it like, protrudes out. It's rounded. It's very nice. There's a nice bit of tactile feel to it. Same with the plus and minus. There's no rattle at all. Everything's smooth and nice and feels really good in the hand. I have got this set to 65 watts, but you will notice if I open the battery tray, take the battery out, I am using a sleeve. It does come with an 18650 sleeve, or you can use 21700, 2700, but I'm using 18650 today. Nice and tight door, no play, no rattle, and it comes straight back on again at 65.5 watts, guys. It remembers the wattage that you had it set at, and then when it comes back on, it does the same. It's quite simple with it on and off. One, two, three, four, five. Goodbye. One, two, three, four, five. It is literally that quick, guys. Watch the speed of that. It's off. Watch how quickly the screen comes back on. One, two, three, four, five. It's just there. Instant. On. That, that is just amazing. It's straight wake up time. No messing about. If you hold the down and the fire button, you'll go into bypass mode, which allows you to... Use it in bypass. Down, fire button again. Back to wattage. On screen, you do have your wattage, your voltage, your ampage, and your resistance. All the information you need. Your battery guide. If you hold the up and down button together, you'll lock the device. If you hold them down again, it'll unlock the device. Press the fire button and you vape. It is that simple, guys. 
I want to show you this as well. Just how quick, once you press that button, it starts going. Look how quick it scales through. It's from five all the way up to 90. It's just so quick, guys. So many devices. I love how it's in 0.5 increments. Because Brian, well, Brian knows. No one wants to be messing about with these 0.1 increments. There's no point. 0.5 is perfectly fine. And you can't tell me that device doesn't look absolutely sexy as hell. It feels great in the hand. The bottle, I have to point out the bottle. Now, I have the recurve. I'll just get the recurve. See the recurve? The bottle is really super soft. I mean, in my opinion, a bit too soft. But a lot of people like this. I think that I prefer this. I like there's a little bit more stiffness to this bottle, which I find more pleasing. And it just squonks so easy. You barely have to touch it. I do know that it's been designed with this logo. You know, for ladies with nails, it's just not going to piss the bottle. It's easy, but you really don't need to. That is literally how easy it squonk, guys. It's so easy to squonk. And I like this feature as well. You've got your bottle mechanism. Literally, you just turn and it pops. Once it's popped, you lift it up. And there's your seal. There's a little bit of juice there, guys, because I've been using it. And your bottle's inside. You push it back down and then just turn. And then it's tight again, guys. It's so simple. So, so simple. And same situation as taking the bottle out. You can take the whole of the juice out. It's on a tray that just slides in and out. You, the extra screws, you can take these screws apart to take the top off. I'm not going to do that on here, guys, because it is so simple. You just make sure you don't lose anything that's in there. You take the two screws out, you lift the top off, you can take the bottle out and wash the bottle. But I love this design with the sleigh where it's so simple and easy, and you just push it back in and you're good to go. That is literally how simple it is, guys. Your battery orientation is clearly marked out here. There's your negative, and then inside there is your positive, but I don't think you'll be able to see think you can obviously i'm using the 18650 sleeve today but you can use 21700 2700s and look the screen should straight back on straight at 65 watts guys it makes absolutely fantastic and phenomenal the fit and finish of this is just brilliant guys and also obviously we have this the edition i got i went and got the second bottle which comes with a plug. If you look at the other one, I'll show you the other one when I take it off again. It's just like one turn, guys, and then it's off. You have your two rubber seals. It is spring-loaded. And as you push it down and then screw it, it makes connection. And it seals that bottle. It is that simple. Straight in, turn, job done. But this one, it pulls on and off. There's a pin there that sits in there. This is so you can carry around an extra 10 mil of a totally different juice of your choosing. You can place that in there like that and throw this in your pocket. It's not going to squonk, leak or anything with this on it. It's caused a nice little seal. You could carry this around with you in your bag, in your vape bag, in your purse if you're a female. You can carry this around with you with an extra 10 mil of juice in. To be fair, guys, the amount I vape, and I do vape quite a bit, if I have this filled with 10 mil and I have this in my pocket with another 10 mil, there is no way on God's earth I should run out of juice that day. That's 20 mil of juice, and, and we all carry it. Well, we don't all, but I know a lot of people that do carry a pod system or something that does a little bit of mouth to lung in the pocket as well, which I would. So I could literally go out of the house with this, this little pod system, and I'm good for the day. I really like this device. And I don't like comparing to other things, but I have to because the recurve and the top side, they come around the same sort of time. The recurve will run a little bit sooner. I like the feel of the recurve a little bit better because obviously it's got that pistol grip sort of feel. I do like the heaviness. I do like how heavy it is. I like heavy mod, but to some people that's a con. So if you don't really like heavy mod, then, you know, the recurve, then you might prefer the um, top side. It's a little bit lighter. Not loads lighter, but it's a little bit lighter. 
It's really easy to squonk. I don't even think about I think you might just well if I squonk it there and just look at that guys. I'm barely touching that bottle. And that's fully saturated. And it's just amazing. Really, really good flavour. Obviously that's down to the idea and the juice, but the mod's just performing well. I've got to admit, I think the button's one of my favourite things. I love that button. Now, I ain't going to show you because I'm not going to go off and take you to the bathroom and stuff. But if you watch Brian's video, he'll show you more in depth than I could. But there is a really easy, simple way of cleaning out your bottles. If you take this bottle and fill it up with water, make sure you turn your screen away from you because you don't want anything getting into the circuitry. And then just squonk your bottle. And as you squonk, it just shoot the water from the 510 because there is a little tube that runs from here to here which feeds the juice to the 510 but if you fill it up with water you can effectively clean it near enough every single part of that bottle out without actually having to take the bottle out but me personally i love how tight that door is i would probably just take it out like that and take it and go clean it and that would be how I would choose to clean it. But you have got the option, guys, that you don't have to take it out. Um, if you do are to strip this down and you don't like this logo for whatever reason, you can turn the bottle around the opposite way. There's just so much versatility with it, guys. So much versatility. It's a well thought out piece. But then again, from Brian, what else did we expect? Um, everything he produced just seems to be high quality. I don't want to ramble too much, guys, but I would say if you are looking for a really reliable, non-leaking squonker, easy to clean out, easy to transport, the ability to take up to 20 milliliters with you on a daily basis, you have to try the Dove Po topside. The feel of it is it's so different because I say I prefer the recurve because of the pistol grip, but this is not unpleasant and it, you can use it in both hands. The ergonomics of it are there. It's comfortable. It's a little bit lighter. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to find myself carrying this in the recurve a hell of a lot when I go about. Just because of ease of use. But that's been my uh, review on the Dovepo Squonker by TVC. There's not much more I can say about it, guys. It is a very simple device. You can't get much more simple than this unless you go by the realms of mechs. But then you have to learn a lot more of stuff. This is pretty safe, it's self-explanatory, it's got everything in there you could possibly need. 90 watts is more than enough power. Being able to run 18650, 21700, 2700. It's just a win-win-win, guys. I will put a link in the description where you can pick one of these up. Check one out if that's what you want to do. It's very inexpensive for what it is, guys. But it's, it's personal preference, it's down what you're looking for, but I would highly recommend this one. It is one that I would really, really highly recommend. But that's been me for another review, guys. There will be a review of the Vupu with the U-Force tank coming very shortly. Uh, there's plenty of juice reviews coming up. So just keep watching, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being loyal subscribers. And as always, I've been the Vape Invader. I'll see you on the next one.